All right, here with the clubhouse leader, Amanda Doherty, at 11 under. Amanda, your front nine today, being able to close that out in 31, just take me what was take me through what was going so well for you there. Um, really just putts were going in today. Um, I mean, I was hitting the ball well to get it close enough for them to go in, but um, they, were, they were just falling in, and that was... Um, that was definitely the best part of my game on the front nine, and then tried to hang on on the back. Um, but yeah, I was putting really well today. The back nine we were just talking about is a little bit sneaky, tricky, definitely firmer, more fast. Mm -hmm. What is it about taking advantage of those first nine holes that you think really helped you today? Yeah, I think to get a good, you know, front nine was was good for me because the back is it is tougher, it is firmer, it's faster. Uh, there's a few trickier holes, so kind of to get out to a, a good start and then not feel like I have to like uh, push too much on the back. How would you assess your final nine as compared to your front? Uh, very different. Um, being a harder nine, I wasn't hitting the ball quite as well on the back, made it a little bit tougher. I had it some really good up and down, so I, uh, which, which is good. Um, grind, had to grind it out a little bit more on the back nine though. After yesterday, we were just talking, you said you got a couple too many people texting you after one round. <laughs> what did it mean to come away with the front, the first round lead after yesterday? Yeah, that's not a position I've really been in before um, on, on the LPGA. Uh, so it's, it's always fun and it's nice to know that, um, you know, I have some good low rounds in me for sure. You definitely had those top finishes up on the Epson Tour in 2021 that got you your status here. Did you think about kind of what you did in those situations as you're grinding it out here this week? Yeah, definitely. I mean, last the last two years on the Epson Tour was really good learning experience for me. And I think to have put myself in contention so many times last year makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with the position that I'm in right now. And you've been in Europe for the last couple of weeks. Do you want to go through kind of what has been going on the last few weeks to get to this point right here, if you don't mind? Um, yeah, so I played Evian, finished um, 37th there. I had a good final round to kind of move up the leaderboard. And then I was first alternate going into the Scottish, uh, and I didn't get in, waited around all day hoping to get in. Um, and then I didn't make it through by a couple shots through final qualifying for the Open. Um, which was disappointing. So, you know, I got a couple extra rounds on a few different links courses around Scotland and then came over here a couple days early and uh, tried to get a feel for everything in Northern Ireland. What were those uh, courses that you got to play? Um, I played Ghislaine number three one day and then just practiced in a few places around that I don't remember the names of. Nowhere, went to St. Andrews one day, but I didn't, unfortunately didn't play there. Took just touristy around there. Um, but a lot of the a lot of the really good courses are high season right now, so it's tough to get on, <laughs> unfortunately. But understandably, yeah. for you seeing your name at the top of the leaderboard, what does that do for your confidence and just overall kind of mental game going into the weekend? Yeah, I mean it's it's really nice to see my name up there. Um, I haven't been up there in a little while, and you know I had been feeling like my game was trending in the right direction, making a few tweaks here and there. And it's you know from the outside looking in, you might not see that score wise but you know I've been feeling like it's going the right direction so it's nice to have the to really kind of confirm that. You've got your mom here this week uh, just having someone to kind of go back to and also have that support around you when you're in a position like this how much does that help you or are you one of those to just focus in on yourself? No it's been awesome having my mom here especially the last few weeks not not getting to play we got to go see some stuff and kind of be tourists for a few days and uh, but here this week it's awesome because once I'm done done my work on the golf course done for the day I kind of try to get away and not think about golf and do something else and it definitely helps having my mom here for sure all right well thank you Amanda yeah